Hey guys, new video here. I'm uh, gonna talk about sextants real quick. Um, if you look at my atlas here, uh, my build is a poison sextant build, meaning that uh, what I do is I use this poison sextant here that reads um, for each uh, poison on me, right? I get 8% damage, 4% move speed, and um, I also, you know, with the escalating sextants like Prime and Awaken, I get even more damage and move speed. So um, because I play this build, I need to roll this sextant on every single map I have, right? So it's like three at a time. If I don't have the sextant, my build doesn't actually work. Uh, so this uh, is going to be a video primarily for uh, those players that are playing self poison and wondering how can I better uh, block sextants so I can roll this easier because like sextants aren't exactly like cheap. I'm um, not too expensive either. Like no matter how many it takes on average, uh, you will not lose money on the maps. And for uh, newer players out there, this might help you uh, learn a little bit more about the sextant rules. And um, if you want to block some stuff for yourself, you know, you can still use this knowledge even if you're not playing a poison build. So let's talk about how it works. Um, if you look right here, once again, the poison section is there. And what you're going to do first is um, I would suggest, highly recommend that you, you, you don't have to do this, but I would highly recommend buying some of these watchstones. Now these come in chromium, platinum, and titanium variants. Just buy the cheapest one for a few zones. You see, I have like four here. I have three here. I have three here and like one over here but it doesn't it, once again um the more you buy the more you can um store up on the section you want so in the case of poison um i could do every single one of the things that you see in here right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four eight, all 15 here up to 32 which is the maximum amount of normal um watchstones i could store up 32 watchstones full of poison sections so since they last three maps each that's uh 96 maps that i could run without ever having to worry about uh, resexing my map and uh, you know like downtime and like it's like really annoying if you get unlucky right so you can do a lot at once so how is it done well first we need to uh, go over like the principles of it like how do we you know get more of a chance of getting poison and uh, so I'm going to pull up this little website here I showed this in one of my last videos if you saw it and here's just like all the sextants right and on the right side you're going to see waiting waiting just means like that is the chance out of all of the chances added together for that sextant, um, that is the percentage chance that that thing will show up. So mathematically, the best thing to do would be to block, um, if you see like the weightings here, to block three sextants with 1,000 weighting because 1,000 weighting is the biggest weighting. Um, so that takes out most of the pool and then the other ones have a greater uh, percentage chance to shine through, okay? Um, so the way that we're gonna do that is um, you can put these uh, washstones that you bought in any region um, I mean, I guess like ideally you put it right here because this is like the closest, right? So it's like easy to see both these, but it doesn't really matter. I, I usually do it right here for no reason in particular. And what you're going to do is um, you are going to use uh, simple sextants. The reason that you're going to use simple sextants is because simple sextants have a um, much smaller pool. Prime sextants, you're going to start to see things like, uh, you know, you're going to see things like a shrines pop up a lot, okay? And so since that can't roll on simple sextants, um, then, you know, uh, that is a completely, that weighting is completely removed from the pool. So bigger probability for the poison sextant uh, or any other sextant you want. And then awaken, same thing. There's a larger uh, group pools. You know, you're going to start seeing things like, um, like Nemesis 3, even like small weighting things like Harbinger sextants, Nemesis 3, Beyond, you know, a bunch of masters, stuff like that. And uh, that gets kind of annoying. So um, I highly, highly recommend that you use simple sextants, okay? So let's just practice right here. So these don't have any uh, sextants on them. Like the blue text you see is just the watchstone rolled itself. So I'm gonna roll three on here. And then as you can see, I got fire damage. And if you're ever wondering like, is this a 1000 waiting? You'll learn these really quickly, by the way. Um, basically packs, uh, sextants that grant packs are 1000 waiting. So things like uh, cold, fire, chows, um, poison, uh, lightning, um, all these things like monsters that heal. You can, you can just check here. So you control F. And let's say um, we just rolled, um, what did we just roll? We just rolled uh, fire damage, right? So control F, fire damage. And you'll, you, you won't need to do this after you do it a few times, right? Look, 1,000, so you know you're good. We go back here, we look at the other one. Um, now this one is a uh, unique bosses deal increased damage. So you can control F here, right? Unique bosses um, deal in, uh, accompanied by bodyguards, right? Um, actually, this isn't the right one. Hold on a second. Uh, unique bosses, where is it? Uh, where is the damage? Is it right here? Uh, I think it's right here. Now, this one, it looks like this is not a 1,000 weighting, right? Um, so for this one, and the, and the things have like quality and things like that. Actually, 
it might be better just to like do this. It's actually this one right here to highlight to, to make you guys not confused here. So if you look at this one right here is the one we rolled on our bottom um, watch zone, it's 500. So that, that one's not really that good, right? Because you are half of the weighting that you could be blocking. So you might want to reroll this one. And then if you don't know about this one, like this one is um, unique item. I'm pretty sure that one's 500 as well. If you're unsure, which I actually am, um, I can go unique item, right? And hold on a second. Um, yeah, right here, right? So that's a 500 weighting. So you know that one's not good. And so you're gonna have to reroll that one. And then what about monster conversion? Now monster conversion is pack size. So you're gonna control F, convert, right? Um, convert one kill. And you see that is a monster pack size. That is a 1000 weighting. So you go ahead and keep that one. And then you're gonna do this all the way around. I'll just do this for you so you can see a full example of how exactly it's done. Um, now this is whale souls on kill. Now this is a um, pack size. So I'm gonna search for um, whale monsters here. And then that is, now the thing about the whale monsters is that um, this one is actually a 500 weighing, right? So this is one of the ones that you would actually wanna re-roll um, once again to block it. And unidentified is actually pretty rare. So this one you would also re-roll. Um, reflected, let me just check on that. I don't think that one is, um, is 1000 let's see um actually it is it's, this one is actually a uh, 1000 weighting if you look right here so this one would actually be okay now um i know at this point you're probably thinking well what if um i get something that is like really good that i want to run right so let's say that unidentified uh thing showed up and you had a map that um you had like maybe three maps that were unidentified that you could get more uh juice out of and in that case um you have a few options right if you're focused for a region, I guess like you could just roll over it or you can run three maps in that region real quick to take advantage of it, which is like kind of scuffed for the purposes of like why you were rolling the watch down in the first place. Or another option that you could do is because these um these like metal watchstones are only you can't like put this in another region and swap it, right? Like you can for like this red one if you were to, you know, swap it for any other red one. Um what you could do is you could just get another um another watchstone. So maybe you have like four of these and you take out the one that's actually good, right? in your inventory or something so i just re-roll it um because i'm going to be focusing on another region so once you have three blocked okay so this one this one this one are each 1000 waiting then you're just going to take your simple section and for this i um i really recommend the simple section because you're going to get poisoned way faster and way more often it's going to be really easy uh so you could use awakened sections or prime but just know that the pool is a little bit bigger uh and the poison will be a slightly harder to roll and then sometimes you know unlucky streaks right so depending on what you want to do, you then spam for poison on the last one here. So um, let, me, let me see how many of these I have. I don't have that many. So let's see how many this takes. So this one right here, that's life, that's monsters, that's damage, that's pack size. Okay, I'm actually out of the um, the simple ones, unfortunately, for this video. But so now I'm going to use these. And so as you, as you see here, like this prime section is starting to add in. Um, it's going to add in modifiers that are not part of the simple. And that is why it is much harder to roll. So this one, see, okay, there it is. So here's a poison one. The benefit is that the prime and the awakened ones, again, give way more damage and um, movement speed. So once you get it here, what you'll do is you would just either control click it or drag and then drop it out or put it into your into your zone to start running. But you would take it out and um, and then you bring in another watch zone that didn't have the poison on it, right? For example, um, let's just say like this one right here. Now, um, the reason why it's important to get these metal watchstones in here is because they don't have any fixed position like this one could go here this one can go here this one can go here and they can just like swap around freely um why does this matter well when when you have it in here right like let's say um let's say that like this yellow one here right it has physical monsters on it and you want poison um a really fast way to do this is it has like kind of like auto aim where um if you take the yellow one right you don't have to like you don't have to like move this here and open the yellow slot and then put it in, right? Because the rule, because you can put this anywhere around the outer edge. You can't click on the middle because that's your skill tree, but anywhere around this outer edge, it will go inside watch. Like if I go here, it just puts it in um, to the quick slot and then the metal one is on your mouse. So you double click, right? And it's automatically in. So I'll show this again. This is like a really fast way of doing it. So like once you've rolled the red one or like whichever one you're rolling first, doesn't matter. You control click it out. And then the next one that you're rolling, you just, you just, Double click really fast and it's in there and you can start rolling again this one for um poison right and as you can see these don't change so these are still blocking 3000 waiting okay so that's what you're going to do over and over again until every watchstone every normal watchstone you have here is the poison section remember you they have to be these normal ones because these ones are fixed to the um to the location right so that's what you can do and um 
Then after that, what I do personally is, and I just run them. So uh, today on stream, like I didn't have to roll a single poison section because I just kept pulling from like the 30, 40, 60 uses of poison that I had over here. And it really didn't take that many simple sections. So um, that is one really great way of um, of using your sections to uh, guarantee, you know, the correct section. So um, for normal players, for new players out there, you're probably like, hmm, okay, interesting, right? Um, a few notes on this for the, the noobs, I guess, is I would highly recommend against rolling in here. You might, you might want to just like roll it in here, right? Want to just block in here. Well, that doesn't actually work. So I don't know why, but um, you see these four right here. These all belong to this region right here, New Vestir. Uh, if you start spamming sextants in this region right here, they're not going to block anything. Like if I spam poison here, okay, or a better example, um, you see this rusted scarab right here. Um, this could actually be on all three of the other um, other watch zones. Like it's uh, like it's, it's on this one too, right? See, and if you know, if I were to roll it, like obviously this probably looks like in another region, but if I were to roll it right now to as an example, I 100% guarantee you that all four of them could become rusted scarab really really easily with a simple sex. Okay, um, so that's why you don't want to roll it in here. You kind of have to block because it only blocks if they are um, if they are in the same region, right? They did that because. You know, it was super annoying when you used to be able to like roll two of the, two of the same one and it'll show up in red text, you know. So they kind of gave us quality of life and removed that um, that pretty annoying uh, feature, I guess. So uh, that's pretty cool. And if you uh, if you guys like really don't like sextants for like new players who let's say you keep getting um, physical sextant, right? Physical monsters have proximity shields. They're super annoying, by the way. And you don't have like a some kind of dot build or some kind of like penetrating build that can get through those proxy shields and you know their ground effect is like killing you all the time well what you can do is like you can just roll your sextants with like the three you can block three of the sextants you don't like right like physical maybe um maybe like map is accompanied by bodyguards maybe you don't really like um what's another like really bad one i guess like uh maybe like invasion boss or something like that i don't know but like whatever you don't like you block those and make sure that those don't show up on your watch zones that's a little bit more tedious i wouldn't recommend that in those cases i'll just roll over them because it's so much easier to to do that um than the than the case for the poison sextant and uh and yeah that's that's how you do it okay um right now sextants are cheap i expect them to be a lot cheaper uh everyone's like trying to like juice up their atlas right now and uh and kind of get going um, so I, I think that like right now, like 50 to one for awakened sections is a little expensive. Uh, I hope that goes up, but who knows, right? Maybe as more people start mapping in the end game, it'll actually go, the price will actually go way up because, you know, people need those, uh, those sections. And especially if people want to get the, the massive, um, awakened section rolls on there, then it could be even worse, but we'll see about that. It's really interesting. And, um, yeah, so that is the video for sextant rolling. Um, this page right here that I showed with the weightings and everything, this is just PoE Wiki, um, PoE Wiki, or Path of Excel .com. Um, and then you can search for Sextant and then scroll down, and they are all here. Um, I guess uh, in the next video, yeah, there's gonna be. I, I need to, I need to go like watch some anime or something. Um, <clears throat> I actually have this video up here. This is quintessential quintuplets. Okay, a little spoiler alert here. Um, so, uh, I I will make another video. Um, I was gonna put like what to do when you reach Awakener Eight, or like when you reach like getting into the atlas for new players in this video but um i'm kind of like tired so i'm gonna go there's gonna be a new video within 24 hours of this one um if you want to you know follow us like and subscribe to the, to the channel and that video will probably be either a build guide video for the poison bv guy or it might be a video explaining the atlas and what to do your first steps what your your course of action is when you get into deep into the atlas for new players right um, like there's so many things to do. What should you do first? What's really important? What would I focus on and stuff like that? Um, if you guys want a video like that, you can let me know and, uh, and I'll try to make that sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, stream ready on Twitch, twitch.tv slash keto underscore. If you guys have any other questions, you guys can ask me, uh, over there. Okay. Thanks for watching my video guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.